This episode of Indie Mogul is brought to you by Friday the 13th in theaters February 13th. Hey everyone, this week we're going to show you how to create an axe in the back effect. Gary, the scene's over. In honor of the classic horror franchise, Friday the 13th, we're gonna show you how to bury an ax in someone. <laughs> yeah. The safe way. To figure out how much we have to spend on this gruesome effect, Gary's standing by in the BFX laboratory waiting to spin the wheel. Gary, spin the wheel. Some nuts and bolts, a real axe, an axe handle, one large mending plate, a scrap piece of plywood, about a pound of clay, some scrap foam or padding, recycled straps and Velcro, blood fixins, a large plastic syringe, and four to six feet of thin tubing. February 13th. You're watching Indie Mogul. This project is rated skill level six. Okay, everyone, this effect is gonna have three elements. A real axe that we're gonna be very careful with, a prop axe that we're going to build, and some clever editing and computer magic. The first step is to take your real axe and your plywood and line them up to figure out at what angle you want your fake axe to stick out. Now take the large mending plate, which is gonna act as the main structural support between your axe handle and your plywood. Use some pliers and a vise to bend it to a rough L shape that will match the angle that you want your axe to stick out. Wedge one end of this mending plate into your axe handle then bolt the other end into your plywood. Now trim down the plywood and sand the edges. To build the fake axe blade I simply used some clay then using the real axe's reference shaped it like so. Next paint the two axe heads to match. Red is a good color. For the blood take one end of your tubing and cut three small holes in it like so. Then plug up the end with hot glue. Now use more hot glue to secure this to one side of the fake axe. Then add even more hot glue to the surrounding area. Once it dries use some dark red paint to make this hot glue look like gore. Add some padding and some straps and you're done with your prop axe. On shoot day, strap the rig to your actor's back. Then cut a small hole in their shirt and slide it up the handle like so. Load your syringe with some fake blood and you're ready to film the bloody aftermath of your axe impact. Now for the actual axe swing, we use some computer magic because you should never ever swing a real axe towards a real person. That would be stupid. Here's the safe way to do it. Lock down your camera on a tripod. Film your actor getting hit with something safe like a foam bat. Then get everyone out of the room and film just the axe swing. Now in editing, combine these two clips with either the crop tool or a garbage mat. Obviously you can use this effect for any horror movie, but you can use it for other genres like comedy or a drama with the dramatic axe ending. But to find out how we put this effect to use, check out the Indie Mogul original short coming out tomorrow. Here's a little trailer for you. Ah! Ah! That's the axe, isn't it? Yeah. It's the axe. Yeah. It's the axe. It's, that's funny. Yeah, it's, it's funny. funny. Like that. Yeah, it's funny. All right, everybody, that's it for the build episode. Stay tuned to Indie Mogul all week long as we bring you more Friday the 13th awesomeness. And go check out the film coming out Friday, February 13th. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah.
makes me feel so powerful. Oh, look, an axe. <laughs> oh, where's Bobby? <laughs> if you need a liquid for um, painkiller or poison, use apple juice. It's really great, it's cheap, and it looks just like it.